Um, hi guys, so today I am going to discuss my experience on how to get approved for uh, an F1 uh, or student visa here in United States. So, um, I tell you all my preparation and before going to um, U.S. Embassy. So, first, make sure you have your F1. This is really a requirement because they are going to ask ask you this one first and foremost. And then I also have my acceptance letter from the university. And I got my transcript ready. Everything are all original. And since I have to establish that I have a money, <laughs> I also got my bank certificate and bank statement or SOA and then also to establish also that I have really something in the Philippines so I have a business there in Philippines just to establish that I'm really going back for a business and so I sh I brought my BIR 2303 it's not really required but I just brought this one to make sure and then since i'm a grad student i also brought my pay slip just to make sure that hey i'm i'm employed i'm going to states to pursue my master's degree so yep and i also have like the a conversation with the university just uh, supporting document so everything just a supporting document so everything actually is I just brought all original so yeah and also bring a passport size picture because they will be needing that for your uh, visa once you get approved so yeah and that that's all for my preparation and then when I went to the the embassy because I got my my visa scheduled already for my visa interview and I was like the fourth person in the queue and I was so nervous because it was pandemic that time and it's really really hard to go out of the Philippines and it was 2000 it was year 2000 yeah it was like when the COVID hit and it's so hard to go out of the country so I went there I was so nervous and my experience was like oh, I I mean it's still fresh on my memory so I went there don't bring any electronic devices bring all original copy of your documents because they might ask it mm, so I went there and then after that so there was like a queue and I was the port person in the queue I saw how they interviewed the, the first people in front of me and it's kind of kind of nerve-wracking and I got really 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 anxious when I was there so the first person they asked her like um what is the course and what is the university and then she answered and then she's like, um, I've been trying this for like 10 years, something like that. So she she gave the F1 first and then the acceptance letter for sure. So they asked for that. And then she's like saying, she, she said more stuff than the immigration is asking. So she's like saying, I've been trying to to go to, to States in order to pursue my um, study. So I was like, okay. And then I was just listening. I'm, you know, I'm just so nosy. And then she's like, I've been trying this for 10 years. And I think they established that image. Oh, let me see your bank statement. So they asked for her bank statement. And then after that, the immigration decided that, um, uh, sorry to inform you, but you are, you are, got denied because we don't think you have a sufficient fund in order to be in state in order to live in states so that's the first 
So that was the first person who got interviewed. And then I was like, oh my gosh, she got denied. And then the next one is like, it's two of them. So her, their aunt is actually going to sponsor it for their, for their tuition fee and stuff. So they were like, they have been asked, um, what are you going to do to stay? It's what, what, what is the university? And, and then, so they were like answering that like random question. It's like, actually, it's the first question that they asked, like what, what university and then what is the course that you're going to take so so they were like um yeah they were answering for sure and then they asked who's who are you who's gonna support you and the girl said oh it's my aunt and she's a dentist there so they asked for for supporting document regarding that and then it was two of them so i think um maybe the financial support supporting document that they showed might not might not be enough in order to convince the immigration officer that their intention is to study so they got denied and me uh i'm nervous it's two denial in front of me so another one oh this girl she's so pretty and then yes yeah, um okay so she has been asked same what's the course and then i mean what's what's the university what course are you gonna take and then this one she already finished her bachelor's degree in philippines so they were like um why why are you gonna take yet it's available in in philippines but i I don't know about based on her answer but i think it's like her dad it's um ask her to study here in state so she's like and then the immigration answer so your dad is a cit- citizen and then she's like yep and then she's like so did your dad acquire the citizenship because she married a u.s citizen and then she's like yes and then after that there was like some some delay and um, Somehow, I, I, I am not really 100% sure if she's going to get approval or not because there's a delay. And then, yeah, I think she established that um, impression that she might go to state and same, same thing that what her dad did. So she got denied. So it was already my turn and I was like anxious and nervous. So the first question that she asked me is like, what? is the name of the university where you're gonna take this course and i was like so i said the university and then she's like so um what course are you taking so since i'm gonna go for a grad school i said masters in computer science technically because i'm a software engineer so yeah that's what my answer is i think i was like I was just trying to be cool, but deep inside me, I'm so anxious, I'm so nervous. I'm like, no, oh my God, because if she's going to ask for my bank statement, my, my bank account doesn't have that huge of millions of, of you, know, you know, millions of peso. So I don't have millions of peso in my bank account. And that time she's like, okay, um, have you been to places like outside the Philippines? And I said, yeah, I've been to... Um, United States, UK, Australia, Singapore, um, Malaysia, Vietnam, um, India, Indonesia, and I just said a lot of places where I went, well, yeah, I went to a lot of places, but as tourists, so I went to Korea, something like that, so I went everywhere as a tourist, and this is the first time that I'm gonna go for a student visa, so I'm like, I, I was nervous. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's so evident that I, I was really, really nervous that time. So, I, I don't know. Maybe the way I said it, maybe it's not too obvious that I, I was nervous. But, and then she asked me about the, okay, the acceptance letter. So, I showed my acceptance letter. And, yeah, first and foremost, they will ask for your F1. So you have to be prepared that your F1 is there and the signature is like... So you have to make sure that your F1 
is original original copy from the university and they are going to because they are going to ask for that so that time my f1 is is actually not original but they are accepting it because the signatures are like blue so plus i think that time it was can it was pandemic and um it was really hard to send the, the mail to the philippines but you are supposed to bring the original copy so and then she asked me what is my purpose and i said um i'm going to states in order to pursue my uh degree in mas masters of science in computer science um in order to create my own business in the future and I mean, once once I finish my degree there, I'm gonna go back to Philippines, uh, create my own academy, and then that academy will I'm going to teach my countrymen on how on the things that I learned in states, and then she's like, so what are the things that you are interested to learn in states that are not available in um, the Philippines? I'm like, I believe we don't have machine learning and um, big data, but uh, for sure, maybe we have already, but I, 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 I'm just, I just, I just want to learn in um, states. So, um, I was like telling that, oh yeah, I really want to learn big data and machine learning because um, I really want to learn the latest technology in United States since it's like the biggest country in the world. So I, I would like to learn the technology as of the as of now in order to apply it in my country so she's like oh yeah sure 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 so she's like telling me oh so that means you're gonna make your own business as soon as you finish your your as soon as you finish your course and i was like yes that is exactly the plan so i mean i've been places so yeah i believe that's the plan that's the goal so i was just trying to be chill but to be honest, I don't know if I was answering appropriately to the officer, but I was like, yeah, that's the goal. That I want to I want to share the knowledge that I learned here and then yeah, implement it in my country. So our technology will become like stateside too. So actually I was just like being honest of my answer and I don't I I don't really I mean yeah. I think it was just about all the honesty and I think I established the impression that I'm going back to the Philippines in order to to create my own school and in order to teach. So, yeah. And after that, I think she just gave me that question and I, I was just honest and just like, congratulations, you got approved. And yes, I was like, shit. Oh, that's unbelievable because I was like the fourth person who got interviewed that day and I passed and I was like, oh shucks. Oh, yeah, so that's what happened. That was my story and it was unexpected, but my only, um, my, I think my only advice is just be honest. And oh, my only advice is for you to uh, establish the impression that you are going back to the country to your home country in order to get approved so yeah so i hope you guys learned from my story and thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye